Good morning, Proctor family, and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference Daily Service of Prayer and Song, the Proctor Prayer Dimit. And today is July 20th, and we have been celebrating our historically Black educational institutions all month long. And whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful to have you with us for prayer. We would like to invite you to visit our website at stpconference.info. And we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And you can sign up by texting SDPC to the number 84576. We promise we will only use your number for sharing information. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to this service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909 318-7011. We ask that you please silence your phones when you're listening in to the prayer call. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Dr. Susan K. Smith. Good morning, Sal Banani. Uh, that's an easy Zulu word, which means we see you, we hear you, we respect you. You are important to us. And I want to hope that this internet in this hotel does not go in and out so we can get through this. Um, so we'll see. Um, I was thinking this morning about how we react when we are being pursued by someone or something that wants to steal our joy. When Reverend Michael is uh, hosting, he always ends it by saying, don't let anybody steal your joy. And the fact of the matter is that there are things and people and circumstances that steal our joy. And it makes us afraid sometimes. So I was reading uh, this morning again about how the, the, the uh, Israelites were moving away from their enemies. They're moving away from their enemies. And as they got to the Sea of Reeds, they could hear um, the, the hoof prints, the hoof um, uh, pounding of the hoofs of the, of the horses, of the enemies that were coming to get them. And they were afraid. They were afraid. They had been in the wilderness for such a long time. And now they felt like they were. it was all going to be for nothing. And this is what Moses said to them. Moses said, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord, the deliverance that the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. And I stopped when I read that. You need only to be still because so often we are so afraid that we keep running and running and we are frenetic and God wants us to be still. So in this period of time where it feels like maybe we are being chased or threatened by all types of things that might be something personal in your life or maybe all of the stuff that's going on in the world around us, please remember that God says, God says you need only to be still. We are glad and honored to be here this morning. We give praise to God. We give thanks to God for our founders, the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright Jr., the Reverend Dr. Iva Carruthers, our General Secretary, and the Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III. Without them, we would not be. So we always need to give credit where credit is due. This morning as our prayer warrior, we welcome Damari Craddock. He is a freshman religion major going to Morehouse. He is from Orange Park, Florida. Um, and he says that he serves as the historian for the Martin Luther King Jr. International Chapel at Morehouse, and also as the freshman president of the Morehouse chapter of the National Action Network. After he graduates, he wants to go to seminary. He says he's been preaching and teaching the social gospel for three years, and he has devoted his ministry to the fight for equity and equality and the battle of systemic racism, causing our brothers and sisters to be suppressed and oppressed for over 400 years. He says that one of his biggest areas of concentration is fighting for gender equality and making sure our African-American sisters can stop being in the shadows and put them in the forefront of social and economic crises to protect our brothers and sisters within the LGBTQ plus community. He is serving as an associate minister as the first, at the First African Missionary Baptist Church in Green Cove Springs, Florida, where his pastor is a 
Reverend Dr. Clarence L. Jenkins, we are truly blessed. I always get excited when we have these, as a friend of mine would say, youngins. When we have the youngins come on and they give so much of who they are. And so after uh, we have the music ministry by our own Reverend Dr. Ozzy Smith, uh, we will hear the voice of our youngin today, Damari Kreda. Welcome them. Greetings, everyone. Good morning to everybody. I just want to first and foremost give homage and thanks to God, our Father, Jesus Christ, our Savior, and the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, for the time that we have here. And before I come before you with prayer, I would like to set a meditation to your heart that I read this morning by the Reverend Dr. Howard Thurman. Mm. He states, whatever may be the tensions and the stresses of a particular day, there is always lurking close at the hand, the trailing beauty of forgotten joy of unremembered peace. With that being said, let us assume the posture of prayer. Universal spirit, our father, our mother and comforter, we come to you right now in this chaotic, capricious and confusing world we live in. We ask you in this time to revive our tired spirits. God, in this time of life where innocent black men and women are being gunned down and stripped from their lives, God, please fill this endless void that is within our community. Faithful and liberating spirit, you are the God of our weary years and the God of our silent tears. We know you to be a shelter in the time of a storm. And God, we need your shelter right now. God, we know you are a bridge over troubled water and we are asking for a bridge right now. And God, we know you to be a liberator in a time of bondage and captivity. And we are asking that you can set the captives free from white supremacy, gentrification, the gender pay gap, irrational capitalistic patriarchal people and those who use patriotic idolatry as a form of racism. 
God, renew us afresh. Because if we can be honest, we are tired. We are tired of being the unheard voices. We are tired of having our black women at the bottom of the totem pole. We are tired of seeing our black men laying in cold blood. And we are tired of being the marginalized. We are tired of being the oppressed. And we are tired of being the disinherited. God, as we look at America, there is blood on America's hands blood of our ancestors that were kidnapped and brought here to cultivate and colonize this country as we know it today and blood of those who jumped from their death because they knew that death was better than bondage bless us in this time in a moment like this father as we are in solidarity with your sweet scintillating spirit in this time of meditation grant us peace peace that will keep us steadfast and unmovable peace that can rest in the midst of chaos. God, there's ever been a time we needed you more. We need you now more than ever. As this wonderful conference has been serving, teaching, and publicly rendering the social gospel and liberation theology, we ask you to keep blessing this conference and the members and leaders within it. Holy Spirit, reign on us. Reign endurance that can keep us in the race. Reign strength so we may have the might to fight against injustice and inequality. Reign peace so we may be unbothered by the noise. And reign discipline so we may stay faithful to the task. Help us not to be silent about the things that matter, but in fact vocal and radical that will help form this democracy. As I am reminded of the words of the late and great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We need leaders not in love with money, but in love with justice, not in love with publicity, but in love with humanity. Cover us with the spirit you covered and kept our ancestors with, because God, we know you are more than able. And Father, as I close, if there was someone out there with ears, let them hear the good things you will do and are getting ready to do. We thank you for the ultimate sacrifice and the radical nature of Jesus Christ and help us have faith like him. We love you, dear Lord. We praise your name and we glorify your spirit. We seal this prayer that your father, that you may be glorified. Your son will be magnified and the people can be edified and most definitely the devil and hell can be horrified. This in the name that is above every name, Jesus the Christ. Amen.
let the church say amen. Um, the young un to Damari, I think that your mama and your grandmama and all of the other mamas and grandmamas who have gone on to glory were grinning as you prayed this morning. You make them proud. You make us proud. You pray to our hearts. And we thank you for that. And Reverend Ozzy, your music um, got to a place in me today that I need it. So thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. You know, we would not have this opportunity to be together every morning to pray if it were not for the fact that we have this organization called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We do a lot of work for uh, a lot of people around the country, even, even around the world. And so if you are inspired, if you are grateful for these prayer calls, if you are inspired by the work we do, we invite you to make a contribution or invest in our work. You can do that by visiting our website, SDP Conference at info. Um, or you can go to Givelify and look for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We are, I don't know, so grateful for your time with us, but we are also grateful for your investment in what we do. And so we invite you to please consider doing that and help us do the work that we do. We end up on this day by me, um, sorry, staying kind of stuck on this be still thing and I'm going to go to Psalm 46. I was gratified to even hear that um, lifted up in Damari's prayer, but God says in Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what God has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns his shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us and the God of Jacob is our fortress. Take those words with you. Those words of affirmation and comfort and affirmation again. Take them with you. Hold them close to your heart and be strengthened on this day. God bless you. Take good care. Bye-bye.